situation that we've been dealing with all morning. Just just kind of some uh, scattered precipitation. It's damp. It's raw outside, even though the radar is not finding much left over Rhode Island in terms of any organized rainfall or snow for that matter. It's still quite damp out enough so that your windshield wipers are likely still on heading out across Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts. Uh, you can see again the steadier rain and we did have some snow overnight, higher elevations north and west of Rhode Island or north and west of Providence where we got a slushy coating of snow that's tending to taper off, but it's going to be a damp start early today with the lingering drizzle cold blast on the way for the end of the week and we're keeping an eye on the late Sunday forecast snow moves in. It looks like maybe by the evening or night before changing over to rain at this point looks like primarily rain for southern New England, but how quickly that changeover occurs from snow to rain will determine if we get any accumulating accumulations out of it. At Oakland Beach in Warwick, it's gray, misty, visibility low enough that just a sign here that the air is quite damp. Two miles visibility, Smithfield, mile and a half in Providence. That'll be tough to shake through the rest of this morning. Smithfield, though, you're above freezing, and these temperatures have been important to note through the morning because it's allowed us with those above freezing temperatures to keep the roadways damp and not icy. Rhode Island College in Providence in the 30s, and so is Westerly, still about 37 degrees. Our area of low pressure sliding to the east, taking the precipitation with it. We'll hold on to the cloudiness, even though the uh, satellite imagery here not showing that over Connecticut. It is still gray with a lot of clouds in that area. So through the morning hours, some lingering pockets of drizzle, some mist. Uh, by afternoon, that's dry now. Notice the cloud cover much slower to clear, though. This is at 5 o'clock in the evening. By the time the sun goes down, we start to see those clearing skies. So a cloudy day for us and a partly to mostly cloudy day on Thursday as well. I think a little brighter than today. Today, drizzle and mist linger. This morning at 9 a.m., cloudy and cool at noon. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, still lots of clouds. And then overnight tonight, turning partly cloudy, a low temperature down to around 32 degrees with a light west wind. After dropping to 32 overnight tonight, we'll see high temperatures tomorrow climbing into the middle 40s again. 38 degrees at 5 o'clock, 34 heading into the evening, down to 28 on Friday. This is going to be one of two shots of chilly air that will move in. First is Thursday, second shot of cold air Friday. And notice those temperatures when you wake up Saturday morning, very chilly, will be in the teens with wind chills in the single digits, 34 on Saturday afternoon, Sunday dry to start. Again, we're tracking a system that could start off with some wintry weather changing over to rainfall. And again, we'll keep an eye on that Sunday night, Monday morning time frame for you for any impacts to your Monday morning commute. You can get the updated futurecast any time of day on our website.